In this video, we are going to discuss about the types of NAT. So how many types of NAT are available? We can see NAT has the following types, which is the first one is static NAT. So what is a static NAT? Static NAT performs static address translation, allowing one to one mapping between the local and the global addresses. So this is about the static NAT. Coming to the second form is that dynamic NAT. So dynamic NAT performs dynamic address translation, mapping unregistered private IP addresses to the registered public addresses. That means it registered public addresses will be mapped with the non-registered private IP addresses from a pool of available IP addresses. So this is about the second type which is dynamic NAT. Coming to the third type which is NAT overload, we can clearly see here the NAT overload performs an overload mapping of the multiple unregistered IP addresses to a single global or public IP addresses which is registered here. It is a many to one mapping between private and public that means many private IP addresses will be mapped to the one public IP address. So and it is accomplished using the different port numbers you can take a best example is internet. So we all connect to one internet that means one box which is available for the local vendor here. So this method is also known as port address translation which is called PAT here. So by using port or NAT overload, hundreds or even thousands of users will be connected to internet using one real global IP address. As I said, the normal local broadband connection is like we connect, everyone will be connected to one box located in that area so that every multiple private IP addresses will be connected to one global IP address. Then this is most popular NAT type, which is basically is the form of dynamic mapping but with multiple unregistered IP addresses mapping to one registered global public IP address. So these are the types of NAT. 